Dennis Wolf, he's from the Women's Business Council, is with me now. A very warm welcome to you, Dennis. Um, Dennis, not Dave, I should say. Um, what was your assessment of the gender pay data that came out? Well, I think it's very good that we've got a measure at long last. I think <clears throat> uh, the old adage that what gets measured gets done. And I think it provides a very good basis for measurement of improvement as we go forward through the years. Clearly, it's the first time through. Um, and there are those who... who there are some like industries who came out of it a lot worse than others. Yeah, and, it, you know, it's a, it, it, it's a first time through. But I think the big picture is clearly there's a lot to do. And this toolkit that you've developed, I mean, what exactly is it and who's it directed at? So it's aimed at CEOs of FTSE 350 and other prominent businesses in the UK. And the reason that we've chosen to pitch it that way is because certainly in my experience, you know, change in businesses happen when the senior leadership and particularly the CEO prioritise it. Um, uh, you've got some prominent CEOs who have signed up, including our own Jer Jeremy Darrick. Um, but uh, as we know, gender pay gaps aren't so much about equal pay, but they show up the fact that you just don't have as many women in senior high-paying high roles. Um, how, how, does, how exactly do you go about making that happen? What are the most effective tools for making that happen, getting more women in those roles? Well, I think uh, uh, working with the pipeline is very important. So what we've chosen to focus on in, in the report is what we've called the three asks of the CEO. Um, what, one of them is to make achieving 33% of the executive teams being women by 2020. The second, which I think is very important, is to personally sponsor one to three women from within the organisation who've got the capability to fulfil those roles to really help them come through and to make sure they get the opportunities and the development necessary to do so. And then the third thing is to be vocal in the wider business community about the need for change. I think you know transparency is very important here, to be honest about the challenges that businesses individually and collectively face and what needs to be done and then to have the drive and the resolve to do something about it. I suppose a, a cynic might say a toolkit, it, it sounds nice, it sort of gives you a good blueprint about how you should be doing things, but things don't change overnight firstly and they don't often change unless there are penalties for not doing things. So is there an argument that you should make CEOs uh, pay or bonus dependent on delivering and some of those pledges that you were talking about? Well, I think it's absolutely essential that businesses for their own success into the future deal with these issues because they need to remain relevant to their stakeholders, whether it's their employees or their customers or regulators and so on. So I think there is a, an absolute vested interest for CEOs to make sure that these things are delivered. And increasingly, boards will hold management teams more accountable to make sure that they are delivered. But I think the question really is how. And what we've tried to address in our report isn't, isn't um, a, you know, a, a pipe dream type stuff. We, we've, we've showcased organisations that have actually made a really good start. And whilst I'm sure they would say that they've got a long way to go, they're already showing some success. And have, have you had any bosses who've just not been terribly receptive to, to these ideas? I'm not asking you to name and shame them, I'm just no. wondering how, how responsive people have been. It's certainly true that there's a mixed bag. So one of the purposes of the report, and by enlisting the support of, of CEOs who are already putting these ideas into, into practice, is to get the attention and inspire those a little bit behind the curve. I think by sharing best practice, sharing ideas, and if you like normalising this as a key business priority, we're much more likely to make more progress more quickly.